Good day YouTube, this is Jay Money with uh, Falling Forward Financial. I wanted to uh, do a video, do an update on uh, Churchill Capital, CCIV. Uh, I did a video, uh, looks like back on the 18th about uh, CCIV. I think uh, tomorrow is going to be a big day for uh, Churchill. And I have a couple uh, reasons why and I'll uh, go over those uh, shortly here. Um, CCIV, if you don't know what it is, is a uh, blank check firm. The firm has a form for the uh, purpose of effecting a merger, capital stock exchange, asset acquisition, stock purchase, reorganization, or similar business combination with one or more businesses. The company was founded by Michael Klein and is headquartered in New York. And you can see the uh, market cap there, $6.48 billion, and you can kind of see the uh, run-up here in the... Uh, past month, um, especially here in the last, uh, we'll call it two weeks, and there was a major run-up here on the uh, 25th after the 21st here, uh, and I'll kind of go over what happened on the uh, 21st. Um, Lucid aside, Churchill Capital Corp. 4 remains a good bet. I'll forgive uh, you if you've never heard of Churchill Capital and CCIV stock. Anyone with a full-time job that's not in finance probably has a hard time keeping track of the special purpose acquisition specs that's going uh, public these days. January alone, there was there's been uh, 80 through uh, January 26. In 2020, there were 248. One of those was CCIV which raised $1.8 billion through July 2020 sale of $180 million $10 units. Although the time it takes for a spec to find a target seems to have gotten shorter. The average, according to NASDAQ chief economist Phil McIntosh, is 15 months, so the rumors circulating that it may merge with the luxury electric vehicle manufacturer Lucid after only a six-month search, as I write this, it hasn't happened, would be quite an accomplishment. And I got some other information here as to what uh, may have happened on the uh, 21st. Uh, this article just kind of says how it's just kind of still up in the air. Um, not a whole lot of uh, good information in here. Other than if it doesn't go through, it'll plunge back to a ten dollars. I'm sure if you're invested in CCIV, uh, you probably already know that. Um, I have a couple shares not in my Robinhood account um, that I've had for a little while. I don't remember the cost basis on them. Maybe uh, fifteen dollars, and I've just been kind of holding on to them. Not a lot. Um, just kind of a uh, when I started looking at uh, Lucid and the electric cars, uh, sounded more interesting to me. So. But um, feel free to uh, pause the article. I'm not going to read the whole article on this one as I have some other information to go over. Uh, thus far, this revolution has uh, birthed two enormous winners, Tesla, uh, the EV pioneer, which is the best performing EVs in the world, and Neo, Tesla's little brother in China. Uh, the company is a luxury EV maker that has assembled a world-class team of executives and engineers that have spent the last few years designing a high-performance, super-sleek electric vehicle dubbed the Lucid Air. Uh, go ahead and check my other video. It uh, kind of dives into well, what the car looks like. I'm sure if you're watching this, uh, you probably have a good idea of uh, what it looks like. But a uh, very luxury car, uh, full glass canopy. Um, iPad like control screen it's just a beautiful car um, I know uh, uh, Tesla Elon's really been watching this one uh, here's another catalyst uh, the CCIV was listed today in Berlin things are moving on the seventh day of nego negotiations with uh, Lucid and as you can see they're on the uh, 21st listing in Berlin uh, so I think this kind of added some uh, fuel to the fire in regards to the uh, uh, stock going up uh, since the uh, 21st. As I uh, went back to, uh, we can go back to here 
here's kind of the uh, 21st and you can see with the run-up that it had to here on the 22nd through the uh, 25th um, and then I come across this in uh, Bors Berlin uh, this is a uh, back to the uh, German um, kind of lists some information here in regards to a uh, Churchill uh, Corp and just kind of goes over some information um, in regards to the uh, listing and as you can see there January 21st and kind of the uh, run up there that it had uh, feel free to uh, pause or this is actually on uh, www.borsberlin.com uh, next, I found this in uh, LA Times. Lucid Motors prepares to go public thanks to Saudi money and spec mania. Uh, the Lucid Air stylish interior and exterior and its electric drive innovations have drawn widespread approval. Lucid Motors. So I did some reading through here. Uh, the Desert Kingdom Sovereign Wealth Fund invested $1.3 billion into the electric car startup. Lucid regained full health. And as you can see, this is just dated on the uh, 22nd. So lots of good information around the 21st, uh, 22nd. Here it includes uh, Chairman Andrew uh, Liveris, a former Dow Chemical Chief Executive with deep financial ties to Saudi Arabia would give a shot at a big payday and as you read down through here I'm not going to read the whole article to you just trying to keep the uh, video short and to the point uh, again you can find this on LA Times um, here it just talks about some other uh, electric um, vehicles robo taxi companies and so on so if you keep scrolling down here, uh, Liveris, for an example, not only serves as Lucid's chairman, but also in an operating partner at Churchill Capital 4, the spec that's planning to buy Lucid ticker CCIV, that makes Liveris a, a player on both sides of the deal. Curse, uh, that's it's highly unusual to have officers from the acquired company hold an operating role in the uh, spec. The Times asked to speak with Liveris, but uh, Lucid declined and Churchill did not respond. Liveris' tenure at Lucid has been kept under wraps. He's included on the Carmaker's Board of Directors page, but the company never issued a news release or made any other announcement when he became chairman. Uh, but definitely uh, something uh, going on here. And... Like I said, the uh, 1.3 billion investment in Lucid. Uh, so I did some more digging on that. Here's um, what institutional hold holdings hold the uh, CCIV. Uh, currently at 28.38 percent total shares outstanding, 207 million. And here's some kind of some active uh, positions. You can just scroll down through those. Millennium Management, Polar Asset. Uh, some of these I've heard of. Uh, some I have not. Uh, but you can see how many shares they have. And um, all the uh, new percentage. I mean, all these are new. So they're all, looks like they're buying into it. Um, is what I come across. And then I uh, did some checking on Reddit. This is back to the uh, Saudi money. Uh, Saudi PIF on CNBC asked point blank about CCIV Lucid merger. Um, and I hope this isn't the case tomorrow. Robin Hood blocking me from buying CCIV. If that's the case and you're looking to uh, trade this on Robin Hood, I have uh, several links in the uh, description. Uh, Weeble, um, M1 Finance, Doe, Mumu. Um, you can get some free stock that way, and uh, so will I. That kind of helps out the uh, channel there, but uh, hopefully that's not the uh, problem. Um, but um, from what I hear, a lot of people are jumping ship on Robinhood. So if you're looking to get a new platform, um, 
go ahead and use one of my links that will help me out um, but back to the uh, Saudi money uh, I did some investigating here and the uh, PIF public investment fund owns 67 percent stake of lucid motors with an investment of 1.3 billion governor uh, we'll just call him Yasser in the uh, statement on CNBC Arabia and I already told you that that uh, was on CNBC on the uh, 21st uh, PIF owns 67 percent in a long-term investment and so if you scroll down a little bit here and just as it said the uh, Al PIF governor it shows the 67 percent stake in Lucid Motors with an investment of 1.3 billion dollars uh, right there governor Al said in a statement on CNBC Arabia and feel free to uh, scroll down and read the uh, rest for yourself um, but that's pretty much it I uh, just wanted to uh, throw some information out there in regards to uh, CCIV I've been uh, watching it I just haven't talked about it I've been hearing a lot of talk about it I think uh, tomorrow could be a huge day for uh, CCIV maybe they'll make an announcement uh, maybe they'll keep um, stringing us along um, it's always hard to say so it's um, uh, kind of like dating if you're single um, sometimes they string along and sometimes they give you an answer and <laughs> sometimes they don't so <laughs> and that can go for both uh, ways both sides so um, uh, hopefully you're not in one of those relationships I'm not I'm just throwing that out there I think everybody in the past has been in one of those type of relationships but <laughs> that's the best analogy that I can come up with but uh, not too much for uh, tip ranks here uh, in regards to it's a spec um, but I always like to end uh, with uh, tip ranks but uh, we'll see what uh, happens with uh, Churchill tomorrow and um, <coughs> if you have any of this one that'd be uh, awesome to know in the uh, comments and uh, what your cost basis is uh, hopefully you got in back here at the uh, $10 range I think I was I don't know somewhere here in the $15 range I don't have a whole lot of it um, I don't totally get into the specs um, they're just kind of iffy but um, uh, this could be a good one with the uh, luxury car I love the uh, look of the cars that they have so um, that's why I got into this one but um, if you haven't hit that like button for me uh, that would uh, help out immensely to uh, go ahead and hit that as well as a uh, comment comments are always welcome whether they're uh, positive hopefully um, not so much uh, negative but um, if they are if you have any doubts against this company that would be nice to know as well uh, just keep it clean but um, and if you haven't subscribed uh, go ahead and subscribe um, I've had some growth here lately trying to get up to uh, 300 and then 500 and then we'll try for a thousand and I'll set those goals here in the next couple days and uh, let you all know but I thank you for subscribing and also go ahead and hit that bell so you're notified of when my uh, next videos come out that's it for uh, CCIV Churchill Capital again this is Jay Money I thank you for watching I thank you for all the support have a great day happy trading Happy investing. Stay green. Cheers.